Good evening everybody, thank you very much for joining in and uh, this time we are discussing a very very relevant topic which is of today which is the volatility god which is Swiss franc. As you understand that Swiss franc is an American ally. An American ally means we always say that the USD Swiss franc. Well Swiss franc would have three, uh, before moving ahead let, uh, let me give you a small demonstration of what Swiss franc is all about. Swiss franc is amongst the most powerful volatility gauges in the world. What do you mean by a volatility gauge? A volatility gauge is a gauge if this currency is moving higher or facing a volatility then there is a certain probability that the world would see a volatility or all the crosses and all the direct pairs would say the volatility. Thankfully today the bid ask of uh, Swiss franc is 0.9980 to 0.9984 it effectively means the one dollar is equals to 0 0.9980 Swiss franc is come to bid. It means I want to sell and one dollar is 0.9984 Swiss franc which is asked if I want to buy. Now Swiss franc over the period has faced a very different kind of stuff. First of all these are the implied walls of Swiss franc. One month implied walls is 10.887, three month is 10.325, six months is 10.975, nine months is 10.975 and one year is 11.17. So certainly the Swiss franc implied walls, if I take the average, I'm taking the rough average and the rough average is approximately 10.80%. So the volatility level of the Swiss franc is not low. Secondly, the premiums of the Swiss franc is negative. Euro is also negative, GBP is also negative, not to mention the Japanese yen which is having the negative interest rate, it, 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 it is negative, Aussie dollar to an extent is negative, New Z is also, New Z stands for New Zealand dollar, New Z is also negative. For one month, the premium of Swiss franc is 15 bips minus, not to mention, 3 months 44, 6 months 95, 9 months 151 and 1 year is 208 bips. So if today, I want to, want to sell, I want to sell one Swiss franc, one dollar against Swiss franc, I will get the rate of 0 0.9980 minus 208 basis point, which is approximately 0 0.9780. So the time value of money is negative. Now the option is it now the treasurer have to think which way he wants to go. Would he like to book a forward contract? Would he like to book an option contract or would he like to book a cost reduction structures? There are various cost reduction structures like uh, range forwards, like Seagull, like digital spreads, digital option, like uh, knock in knock out and lot of others. So the purpose of the video is to aware the corporate treasurers, trader, interbank traders who are dealing with the CHF. Now directly and indirectly, the direct of CHF is USD CHF and the indirect of the CHF is Euro CHF and GBP CHF. Sometimes people are also saying that CHF and Japanese yen is also a very hot pair and Aussie dollar and CHF is also a very hot pair. So these five crosses matters for the world. That is why this is known as volatility gauge. There are very few foreign exchange ticks, not ticks, foreign exchange pairs which are available in the world who are more powerful in crosses than in direct. And CHF is one of them. So we need to make sure the traders would continue to have a look at the volatility level of the CHF which is not to mention rising, right? So as a treasurer and as a trader, I'm going to advise you that please have, have volatility level of the CHF in check. And also at the same time, we certainly need to make sure that we would be able to hedge the portfolio risk of the CHF using uh, range forward, seagull, digital spread, knockout, knockout, forwards and option. It's a mix. So with this way, I would like to uh, uh, request you to have your CHF exposure in place with a very careful intention because it is a volatility gauge and we all understand that market is facing a global recession. I hope you are having the copy of our, our January 2016 edition of our magazine which is the Maverick Treasure. If not, then you can email me at rahulmagan89 at the rate 
gmail dot com and of course you can give me a call nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight. Thank you and uh, have a good luck.